The musculoskeletal system. The musculoskeletal system is responsible for the mechanics of movement in the body and consists of bones, joints, and muscles. There are 206 different bones in the human skeleton that are made up of calcium, phosphorus, other mineral salts, and some organic substances. The vertebral column is composed of 24 vertebrae, the sacrum, and the tailbone. The vertebral column is designed to support the body and the internal organs. It also serves as protection for the spinal cord, which is the central communication cable from the brain to the rest of the body. The skeleton is the framework which supports and protects the soft tissues and organs of the body. It provides attachment for tendons, muscles, and ligaments which move the body and serve to protect certain vital organs. The skull is a group of bones which fit together to encase and protect the brain. It also forms the framework for the face. The rib or thoracic cage supports the shoulder girdle and arms, protects the internal organs in the cavity, and plays a part in breathing. The pelvis protects the lower abdominal and internal reproductive organs. Because the bones are linked to each other and act together, body movement is made possible. However, no motion would be possible if it were not for the joints. Wherever two bones are attached, a joint is formed. Immovable joints are in the skull. Slightly movable joints are between the vertebrae of the spinal column, and free movable joints are in such places as the knee, shoulder, hip, and elbow. Ligaments join bones together and keep them from getting out of place. The muscles are a bundle of fibers which have the property of contracting and relaxing. This produces motion. In man there are more than 500 muscles, and if it were not for the muscles, the body could not move. There are two types of muscles, involuntary and voluntary. Involuntary muscles, which can be found in the heart and the digestive system, function automatically. The voluntary muscles, such as the bicep and tricep, are under our control. Mechanically, the muscles can exert force and do work only by pulling, not by pushing. To restore a muscle to its original position to work again, it must be pulled back into position. Consequently, muscles work in opposing groups, one of which reverses the action of the other.